Today we're gonna work the upper body using toning balls. You ready? Hi, my name is Gretchen, founder of Balance to the Core. Today we're gonna work the upper body, so especially the arms, while using toning balls. And if you don't have these, you can use water bottles, you can use handheld weights, or nothing. We're really gonna work into the posture. And what I love about the toning balls is it allows you to keep your grip nice and open so we can keep long wrists, we can change the angle so that we work into our shoulder joint. So it's really cool. You can do this standing. You can do this seated on a chair like me, or you can sit this crisscross. So either way that you wanna do it, you can do it. We're gonna be working into the spine. We're gonna be working into those arms. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it to get notified whenever I'm here because I am here with you every single week. All right, so let's get started. If you're standing or sitting, whatever you're doing, just get yourself nice and tall in your spine. I'm seated so my feet are gonna be planted in the ground. If you're standing, you're doing the same thing. Feel your feet planting, feel your sit bones planting. Feel your spine getting long. As you try to stand and sit as tall as you can, I want you to roll those shoulders back a few times. Notice the mobility you have in those shoulders and get them moving. We can circle the other way too. Good, and then we're gonna roll down through the spine, so just drop the chin towards the chest and let your head, neck, and shoulders drop. And then roll it back up through the spine. Do that two more times. Pulling the chin towards the belly button, lengthening down through the spine, and come back up. Good, one more time. Good, and now we're gonna do some side bends. So take your arm up by your ear and just stretch it over. And come on up, you'll do that two more times. Really stretching out of the spine, reaching out of the head. Your pelvis doesn't move. Keep your opposite butt bone, opposite foot down, and drop it down, other way. Arm floats up, and then we stretch it over. Good, and come on up. If you're into sort of building your core muscles, I just finished a 30-day strength training series, so if you wanna check that out, it's here on the channel. You can do 30 days in a row, and it's really great, 10 minutes each day. Drop it down, and let's do a little spinal twist. So just turn it, and then turn the other way. Really look over that shoulder and get this twist all the way through the cervical spine. As you look over that shoulder, and you want to stay as tall as you can. We'll do one more each side. Plant your butt bones, plant your feet. One more. Good, and then stay right here. I'm gonna place my hands right on my thighs and I'm just gonna open the chest here. Maybe take my hands behind me to help open and drop down. If you're standing, you can place your hands sort of on your low back a little bit. You're just looking to open the heart. One more time. Just working into that thoracic spine as you open the chest and come to center. And let's get ready to work those arms. So grab your toning balls and pull your elbows to the back of the room. I want you to get as tall as you can. Pull those shoulders down. Feel the shoulders pull away from the ears and the ears pull away from the shoulders. Good. We're just going to reach forward and then turn the balls down. Turn them up and turn them down. Good. Inhale, exhale. Six more. So you're just working your posture here. You're staying tall, nothing's arching. You're just staying really tall and connected. Ribs into the spine. Two more. Good, now hold them out here and we're just gonna turn the palms up and then we bend in and reach. So as the lever is a little further away from our bodies, we gotta use a little bit more abdominal connection as well as a little bit more back connection. So as I hold these weights up, keep going, I'm actually connecting to my back muscles, sort of right underneath my armpits. So we're gonna put those two moves together. I want you to lower those arms down. We lift up, we bend in. Find a flow with it. Good, and if you feel sort of anywhere in your body tensing up, try to breathe into that and soften the tension. We tend to grip in our necks when things get stressful, maybe our shoulders. 
Keep breathing. Good. Two more. Now let's just hold here and give you biceps again. Four, three, two, one. Now we're straightening it. We're going to turn our palms to face each other. Let your elbows sort of reach side to side. Our elbows stay lifted, but our shoulders stay down. And we're just going to open it up and pull it in like we're hugging a tree. For eight and pull. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it back in. Turn those palms up. Pull the elbows back. As we go forward, we turn those balls into each other and then open it up. Pull in and reach and open. Nice flow. Nothing goes above the shoulders. Try not to push through those ribs. Keep the ribs connected to the abs. Keep your body tall. Four more. Three. Two. One. Good. Now hold it out there. Turn it in and then just go back to these four more. Three. Two. One. Now hold it out. Turn the palms up. Straighten the arms a little bit and bend it in. Try not to give me droopy elbows like right here, right? We're working into those shoulders. So keep the elbows lifted and the shoulders down. Five, four, three, two. We're going to keep them straight on one. And we just lower down and lift back up. Good. So just like a little V in front of you. They're not side to side. They're not forward. They're like in that middle V formation. Plant your butt bones and your feet. And breathe. <laughs> Good, two more. On this last one, hold it up. We bend it in, we reach, we lower. We up, we bend. Find a flow. Good. You're doing great. Take breaks if you need it. You can also do this without weights. Two more. Now I want you to lift up, hold it, okay? Take it out to the sides more. Turn your palms to face each other. Give me little circles without opening up through the ribs. 10 in each direction. Switch it. Good. And then you're gonna pull into your ribs. Turn the palms up, reach and then stretch, turn the palms forward. Up and forward, so really squeeze those mid-back muscles. For five, four, good. Three, two, one. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna halo the head. The weights are sort of slightly in front of my forehead and then bring it down. Good, keep lifting out of your waist without arching into the low back. We have a tendency to do that, so keep that tailbone heavy. We got four, three, two. You're gonna keep those weights up there on one. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm lean forward a little bit, and then I drop the weights behind my head, my elbows are forward, and then I'm gonna stretch it up. I'm leaning my spine slightly forward, but not my head. My head isn't going forward to do it. I'm really trying to stay neutral. Five, four, three, two, and reach it forward on one. Good, drop those arms. Ooh, feels good, right? <laughs> All right, let's take it over. Feel the weight of the, the toning ball go forward, but don't collapse into it. Stay supported in the underside of your spine. We'll go the other way. Reach. So you're getting some arm work and some spine work. Use those obliques here. Good. And take it over.
over. Good, work into those side abs. Right into the waist. We got one more each side. Good, and then stay tall. Roll those shoulders back, pull those weights into you. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach the arms forward. We're gonna lift them up towards the ceiling and then we're gonna rotate and let those arms open, palms up, and then we come up and then we go the other way. Rotate and come on up. Good, inhale, exhale. Two more each side. Stay long, belly in, three more. Two more. Last one. Good, and then just lower it down. Good, let those weights drop, and just roll those shoulders back a few times. If you want to shake them out a little, you can. Good, and then just give me a little flexion here. Ah, even straight for a long time, so enjoy this. And come on up and do that two more times. Just really just enjoy it. Ah, pulling the waistband back, stretching through that spine. Good, one more time. Good, and come on up and then we'll just open up the chest a little and release, two more. Try not to push through the low back, just right into that thoracic. Good, come to center. Now we're gonna reach those arms up. Oh, stretch, 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 grab hold of those palms, stretch those palms up. And then I want you to flex your upper body and just pull those arms down and feel that opening of the upper mid back. And drop down, lift up one more time, breathe in, pull those palms together, and then exhale, bring it front and center. Yes, good job today. Hopefully those arms got a good workout. I'll see you next time. Take care.